These are places iconic to Singapore. Teo Heng KTV, Zouk, Sungai Road, Tanglin Halt. So this is where my mum actually grew up. To the left, I used to come here for the Sungai Road Beast Market. But now, we're at risk of losing them. It's all empty and it's only been a couple of months. I am Rishi Budrani, and in this episode, I'll be visiting some of Singapore's most iconic and popular music and dance clubs. So all our revenue streams were affected, which was very, very tough. About 4,000 bars, nightclubs and entertainment clubs have been closed for 10 months. So we asked the shareholders, what do we do? Should we close down? I want to find out how fans and staff at some of my beloved hangouts are hanging on. And waiting for the day that they can open again. What is the perfect speed in this country? Slow enough to annoy the driver behind you. <laughs> you may have seen me in various stage performances, from stand up comedy all the way to hosting. <laughs> but COVID 19 has thrown a spanner in the works. And the only live performances I've done in the last year are online. Welcome to the Rishi Report. I do have a new show coming up though, so I'm off to my dad's store to make a brand new suit. Zook is one of the 4,000 establishments whose nightlife activities have been forced shut by the pandemic. Zook has transformed its dance clubs into a pop-up restaurant, cycling classes, and even a cinema. But what about Singapore's lesser-known nightclubs? One of them is a club where I spent one of the most important nights of my life, my wedding reception. Its owner, Sanjay Reiki, and I have been friends for over seven years. So Sanjay, a lot of people don't know this, but myself and my wife, Sharul, we had our, our wedding reception roast in this space. Do you I remember know. the night? A lot of people grew up here over the past decade. I'm still growing up. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Talk, we about, all, we, talk about yourself. We will never grow up. <laughs> but a lot of people have very wonderful memories of this space. True. I mean, how, how have you guys you know, dealt with the changing time, especially over the past year? So, 15 December, was our 10th year anniversary. Back in the days, whenever we had an anniversary, we used to have massive queues outside, a massive party, international acts. But this round, it was a post on the social media and everybody saying, hey guys, hang in there. It was quite emotional for me because that was my first ever business in Singapore. The first ever business ever. And now we are in this phase where it's not commercially feasible. If it's not commercially viable, what's driving you now? I think it's something uh, in the middle of being passionate and foolish. Magic Carpet is not a club. It's a community. It's an experience. You know, it's a place where so many people have met their life partners. You know, last count, we know 22 couples who are married after meeting at Magic, right? We've had nine great years. One bad year ain't gonna take Magic away from us. And so even though it's a, it's a big financial burden for us, but I think it's a, a social, moral responsibility and we'll, we'll play our part. Magic Carpet is the only nightclub where you can dance to exclusive Bollywood music from international club DJs who are invited to spin at the club four to six times a year. Without any sign that the club operations can resume in the near future, Sanjay decided to convert half the dance floor into a new restaurant called Adda. Wow. Oh, Welcome yeah. to Adda. I'm wondering about one thing, Sanjay. Was this an idea that you had during the pandemic of 2020 or was this something you've been thinking about for a while? In a way, yes and no. During the, uh, the pandemic, that's where we got the courage to do it because you know clubs aren't going to open and we needed something which is a, a full week activity 
and Adda is perfect. So you can have food, fun at the same time while still sticking to the COVID norms. Yeah. Shots. Shots it is. So Amazing, bro. I, uh, welcome to This one, even my Adda. parents will approve. Mm. Mm. That must have opened you up. Okay, now I'm awake. Can we restart? <laughs> Sanjay has hired the only person in Southeast Asia with a Michelin star for Indian food, Chef Majunath Mural, to helm his new restaurant. But knowing Indian food alone is simply not enough. Adda has to have a competitive edge sure to stand a fighting sure. chance. Okay. And that's exactly what Chef Mural is bringing, a unique fusion culture. Just like this dish that he's prepared especially for me. Okay, uh, is this a... Uh, it looks like a fusion street food. Is it a birthday cake in a matka? <laughs> I mean, this is a traditional clay pot, right? I, when I go back to my wife's village in uh, Laha in Punjab, I, I see the people carrying this on their head with water. Ah, I guess I'm about to find out what lies beneath. Well, what do you know? Oh. It's a butter chicken pot pie. It looks like many Singaporeans are feeling the loss of our nightlife. They're not just joints where we gather the drink, dance or entertain the night away. They are also places where we make connections, share memories and experiences, create a community and even find love. So like you've seen, places like Magic Carpet are adapting by opening up new parts of their restaurant called Adda. Even Zoop, once a clubbing area, is now doing live streams and cycling and even a cinema club. Even where we are right now, the Blue Jazz Cafe, once known for its live performance scene, is focusing more on their food and their drinks. What does this tell me? That these business owners are not ready to give up hope, no matter how hard things get. Even the patrons, as you can see, all of them are coming out to support the places that they have memories at. Why have told me that you are at Blue Jazz, so I brought your suit personally. Hey, you got it done. Thank you, thank you. That's very nice of you. I appreciate it. Dinner on you today. I have to buy dinner? Yeah. Okay, in exchange for the free suit. But can I start eating first? Crispy nut. Uh, have you been for your cycling classes? 